do we really need rolled bats in youth travel baseball? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Chris Sloan here with Bad Baseball on SelectBaseballTeams.com. If you're new to the channel, uh, thanks for checking us out. Um, obviously, if you're a regular here, you notice that this is probably not the usual way I shoot videos. I'm out at tournament with my son this weekend. Uh, we're down in uh, Austin or, or Georgetown, Texas, uh, t doing some baseball down here. So having to improvise a little bit and do what we can here. So uh, bear with me for the video. It'll just be a minute. Um, but I, if you saw the intro, I um, wanted to talk a little bit about someone who actually left some comments on some other videos and that sort of thing later, earlier in the week, which was around uh, kids using shaved and rolled bats, right? Uh, if you're not familiar with what a shaved or a rolled bat is, it's essentially uh, taking these composite bats or metal bats and, and pressing them in a tool that really puts a lot of, applies an extreme amount of pressure to the bat uh, and acts like the bat has had uh, the same type of process of breaking in a bat. Uh, so the idea here being that you're able to have a bat that is performs better uh, than it would uh, if you just took it right out of the packaging, okay? That's what rolling it will do. You know, it's a process, you put it in a machine, roll it and so forth, continue to add additional pressure. Shaving the bat is essentially taking the end cap off, uh, going to the inside and removing layers of the bat to lighten the bat, reducing the strength of the bat. So what both of these things do is really reduce the strength level of the bat as a result creating a, a greater trampoline effect. And in return, obviously you have a, either a faster bat or more pop that comes off the bat. As a result, obviously the ball is going to travel a little further, maybe a little bit hotter, higher velocity, exit velocity, and those sort of things. To me, I can understand guys in a butch league, you know, softball league, whatever they want to do this because they want to feel some glory for high school and need to do that. But I, I don't really feel there's any place for it in travel and youth sports at all. Uh, you know, it, it's really just a cheating mechanism in my mind. Um, and ultimately, it's there's some danger involved with it, right? The rules and regulations that uh, these various organizations have set up regarding uh, how strong or how hot a bat essentially is are provided to keep pitchers safe, to keep the players safe, um, and, and set a level playing field, right, that, that, that all the kids have. Um, and going around that and essentially breaking the rules uh, is ultimately cheating, number one. But number two, you're, uh, you're taking the, uh, the competitive out of the game. You could hurt a kid, right? I mean, you know, you, uh, my son today was pitching. A line drive shot came at him right at his face, and he managed to get his glove up just in time to glaze it off. He almost caught it, but, you know, fortunately, I mean, he got his glove up in time. If he had not, it probably would have taken his teeth out. So, you know, add another five miles an hour to that, maybe ten, he has less reaction time as a result that, you know, he, he could be seriously injured, right, or die. So, um, you know, follow the rules play within the rules they're there for a reason that's my opinion on it um i'd love to hear what you guys think about it uh take a second leave a comment down below let me know what you think about shaved bats and rolled bats and how you feel does it feel it has a place in youth sports uh or do you feel that it's cheating as well again my personal opinion is it's cheating and there's no place for it um, again, I want to thank you guys for checking us out. If you're new to the channel, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, also, click the bell icon. It'll let you know when we put out new videos. Um, also, there's some other videos over here right beside me. You can click on one of those and check out some other things that we talk about uh, here at Bad Baseball. And be sure to check out our website where we help teams get connected, selectbaseballteams.com. Thanks, guys, and have a good week.